thousands of people around the world lost their lives to natural disasters in the history, a tragic reminder of how rapidly natural disasters such as the earthquake, hurricanes, flooding, and many more can become deadly. Our planet is a powerful one, and much of its power comes from forces that are beyond our control. Each year, destinations across the globe fall victim to natural disasters. And humans can have a negative effect on the environment, and it have been around for far longer than there have been humans. Natural disasters kill about 60,000 people annually around the world. But every now and then, there is still one that takes the world quite literally by storm and leaves devastation in its wake. Just how dangerous are the deadliest natural disasters, and in what parts of the world do they occur most? Watch to find out, presenting the most deadly natural disasters on the planet. But before that, please subscribe our YouTube channel. Number 5 Landslide A landslide enclose many different things, like mudslides or rockslides. It is the movement of a mass amount of rock, debris or earth down a slope. Almost every landslide has multiple causes, like changes in water level, erosion, earthquakes, volcanic activity, disturbance by human activity or a combination. Landslides can also happen underwater, known as submarine landslides, which can sometimes cause tsunamis that damage coastal areas. Landslides can occur anywhere. They happen in every single state in U.S. territory, and around the world can be found in hilly, mountainous regions or areas prone to earthquakes and volcanic activity. The risks of landslides are much higher in mountainous regions with dense populations. This means mortality rates are higher in regions in South America, like the Andes, and the Himalayas across Asia. The deadliest landslides in history was in China in 1920, which killed 100,000 people. And also in the US, the largest landslide occurred in Alaska during the 1964 Great Alaska Earthquake. Number 4 Hurricane Typhoon and cyclone hurricanes develop over warm water and use it as an energy source. Hurricanes lose strength as they move over land. Coastal regions are most at danger from hurricanes. As well as violent winds and heavy rain, hurricanes can also create tornadoes, high waves and widespread flooding. Typhoons are generally stronger than hurricanes. This is because of warmer water in the western Pacific which creates better conditions for development of a storm. Even the wind intensity in a typhoon is stronger than that of a hurricane but they cause comparatively lesser loss due to their location. A hurricane, typhoon and cyclone are the same thing, but the region in which they occur names them something different. Regardless of what they are called or where they exist, they are all based around a similar principle. It is a kind of storms with strong winds that swirl around a center and move across a body of water. They can last for a days or even weeks, and all three can be highly destructive and deadly. In the North Atlantic Ocean and Northeast Pacific, they're called hurricanes. Typhoons take place in the Northwest Pacific, and cyclone is the correct term for what takes place in the South Pacific and Indian Ocean. The hurricane's damage can cause an average of 17 deaths per year, but there are certain years when the death toll is ridiculously high. And the deadliest hurricane in history was the Great Galveston Storm in Texas, which killed 8,000 to 12,000 people. The worst cyclone in history was the 1970 Bola Cyclone, which struck East Pakistan and India's West Bengal. At least 500,000 people lost their lives. Number 3 Earthquake Earth is an active place and believe it or not, earthquakes are always happening somewhere. On average, magnitude 2 and smaller earthquakes occur several hundred times a day worldwide. Major earthquakes, greater than magnitude 7, happen more than once per month. Great earthquakes, magnitude 8 and higher, occur about once a year. The land masses of our planet sit on thin, relatively rigid plates, known as tectonic plates that are constantly moving, ever so slightly, on the outer surface of the Earth. An earthquake happens when the tectonic plates get stuck at their edges due to friction. When the stress on the edge overcomes the friction, that is what an earthquake is, a release of energy that travels through the crust and causes a shake. Earthquakes can happen anywhere, but, most earthquakes occur along the edge of the oceanic and continental plates. As previously mentioned, the world's greatest earthquake belt is the Ring of Fire. 
and it's where we can expect to see the majority of seismic activity. The number of deaths that occur from earthquakes each year has dropped significantly, as the world continues to become more and more resilient. In 2017, there were about 1,222 deaths from earthquakes. There are still those rare earthquakes that continue to be catastrophic, though, like the 1976 Tongshan earthquake in China, which killed almost 250,000 people and the Port-au-Prince, Haiti, earthquake of 2010, which killed 200,000. These two had magnitudes of 7.0 or more and are among the deadliest in history. Number 2 Flooding A flood occurs during heavy rain, the storm drains can become overwhelmed or plugged by debris and flood the roads and buildings nearby. Low spots, such as underpasses, underground parking garages, basements, and low water crossings can become death traps. Areas near rivers are at risk from floods. A broken dam, rapidly melting snow, hurricanes or tsunamis. Standing flood waters can also spread infectious diseases, contain chemical hazards, and cause injuries. Each year, flooding causes more deaths than any other hazard related to thunderstorms. The most common flood deaths occur when a vehicle is driven into hazardous flood waters. Most floods take hours or days to develop, but sometimes there is little to no warning, which is where fatalities and catastrophes can occur. Flooding can cause more than $40 billion in damage annually, according to the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. Flooding occurs predominantly in coastal areas, but it's also possible for flooding to occur in areas with long periods of rainfall. Bangladesh is the most flood-prone area in the world. Death tolls from flooding have increased to more than 100 people per year on average. The deadliest flood in the world was the 1931 floods in China, known as the Yangtze Y River floods. These devastating floods killed approximately 4 million people. Number 1. Famine and Drought A drought is an event of prolonged shortages in the water supply, whether atmospheric surface water or ground water. A drought can last for months or years, or may be declared after as few as 15 days. While famine can sometimes be the outcome of a drought, it is considered to be more of a man-made disaster, therefore more preventable, and results from the lack of availability of food and water. A drought is solely the result of finicky mother nature and almost entirely unpreventable. Famine is a hyper-localized episode of extreme hunger that causes death due to starvation from hunger-induced diseases. A drought is a prolonged period of dry weather that lasts long enough to damage crops and cause water supply shortages. Droughts can also be caused by overuse and overpopulation. Famine is often caused by drought, though not exclusively. While famine tends to strike poorer countries, like those in Sub-Saharan Africa or South Asia, drought can occur anywhere. According to the World Meteorological Organization, from 1970-2012, drought caused nearly 680,000 deaths, due to the severe African droughts of 1975, 1983 and 1984. The most destructive drought in the U.S. was the Dust Bowl period in the 1930s. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration said that at least 50 million acres of U.S. land was affected. Our World Data estimates that from the 1860s until 2016, 128 million people have died from famine around the world. The single largest famine in history, in terms of death, was the Great Leap Forward Famine in China from 1959-61. It was more than double the death toll than any other famine. It is estimated that roughly 33 million people died from this famine. We hope you enjoy this video. Leave a comment and like. And don't forget to subscribe.